Metallic is SaaS-delivered data protection from the minds of Commvault, built on Microsoft Azure. In this demo, you will see the breadth of our offerings and how you can get up and running in minutes protecting Azure VMs. When you log into Metallic, you will come to the Metallic Hub. The Hub provides a services catalog that represents the breadth of our offerings. Database backup, including Microsoft SQL and SAP HANA, endpoint backup for laptops and desktops, file and object covering Azure Blob, Azure Files, Microsoft Windows, Unix, and Linux file systems, Office 365 for Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams, and finally, VM and Kubernetes, protecting Azure VM, Hyper-V, Kubernetes, and VMware workloads on-premise and in the cloud. Right from the hub, you can also create and view support cases, view documentation, and manage users and groups. Now, let's look at VM and Kubernetes and how to configure a VM backup. Metallic protects VMs on-premise and running in the cloud. This is an agentless backup method for protecting VMs. Here, you will find a dashboard view of jobs, events, subscription usage, plans, and more. Let's select Azure VM to configure. With Metallic, there's no need to deploy a backup gateway. A connection is made directly to the backup service through an application that is created using the Azure Graph API. We can connect right to the Azure instance and send your backups directly to Metallic Azure Storage or your own Azure Storage. We can also make a secondary copy of your data. Customers follow a simple wizard with only five steps to protect an Azure VM. First, enter your subscription ID, the tenant ID, and your credentials. Next, select the VM content, cloud storage, and the plan. Now that the Azure VM is configured and backups have been completed, we can look at the dashboard and click on Azure VMs. From this overview screen, we can select the recovery point and start a restore. There are four types of restore options available. Guest files, which is a granular restore. Virtual machine files to recover VHD files and configuration to the file system on the proxy. Attached disk to existing VM. And full machine to restore complete virtual machine to Azure. By selecting our Azure VMs to recover, we are presented with restore options, including power on VMs after restore and unconditionally overwrite if the VM already existed. This allows the VM to be completely overwritten, for example, in the case of corruption. Selecting storage accounts, you can select one storage location for all or different storage locations for each of the Azure VMs. For out of place options, there are several available. Under Restore As, we can select Azure Resource Manager, Microsoft Hyper-V, or VMware vCenter. If selecting a different hypervisor, Metallic will perform cross-hypervisor restore from Azure to either Hyper-V or VMware. You can select from multiple destinations and or resource groups to restore your data, as well as different regions. If we select a single VM to restore, we can change the name during the recovery to avoid overwriting an existing VM with the same name. There are options available to power on VMs after restore for single VM recoveries as well. It's simple to configure, protect, and recover an Azure VM with Metallic. Thanks for watching. To learn more or for a free trial, visit metallic.io.